Hey everybody, this is Clay, the Average Gamer. I'm um, bringing to you another Domination uh, gameplay commentary tonight. Tonight as a, uh, in response to Bill Keys and his Bill Keys challenge that he does. I believe this is the second one he posted up and um, the first one was I had a blast with. So I, I made every attempt to, uh, to, do, to do this one as well. For those of you that are not aware what the Bill Keys challenge is, is uh, Bill Keys, his subscribers will post up um, certain gun type and uh, perks and, and everything that goes with the, the class setup. And uh, what Bill will do is he will post that up on his channel and then uh, his subscribers can record games and uh, just post up their most entertaining gameplay. And uh, So anyway, that's uh, what I was doing tonight. Unfortunately, uh, there was a host migration and uh, they ended up bouncing before the game actually came to an end. So I was unable to get... A, uh, a full full gameplay uh, so you only get about three quarters of the game and uh, this is a nice little no scope here <laughs> yeah it's, it's always fun doing it always hate having it done to you uh, but anyway so what we're running is uh, domination on Kowloon uh, the class setup I felt was really set up for more of an objective style gameplay um, so what the uh, what the class setup here I was running the MPL uh, with the dual mags uh, as the primary. The secondary was the crossbow. Uh, my lethal was uh, the tomahawk, followed by smoke and uh, C4. Uh, which C4 is so funny because, I mean, you'll see here, I actually tried to use it, but I, I'm just, I've never used it before. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, I, I don't even really know how to use it. I, I made an attempt to use it, but I kept um, having epic fails, so uh, you can get a nice laugh out of that whenever it uh, shows up, and I'm sure I'll, I'll point it out to you. Um, but then the uh, perks we had: Flak Jacket, um, which I was running Flak Jacket Pro, Harden Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. Now I will say for me, Tactical Mask Pro and uh, Flak Jacket Pro for uh, any objective-based game is uh, an ideal uh, perks for t to be using. Um, I, I uh, hardly ever run an objective-based game without those perks, unless I'm just trying to, you know, run around and do something uh, specific. Uh, but if I'm playing for the objective of playing to win, uh, Tactical Mask and Flat Jacket both seem to be a key perk to have uh, equipped for instances where you're trying to capture flags or plant bombs or, you know, any number of those things. You know that there's always going to be grenades tossed to the area, towards those areas, whenever enemies find that um, one of the objectives is being taken. So, needless to say, those are two that I was familiar with, and I uh, I do enjoy running, and was glad that that was part of this perk, um, or, or per part of this uh, this challenge. Now, as far as this MPL goes, uh, this MPL, I, I know I've I've run this gun before, and I do like this gun, but not at all with the setup that we had here. Um, Harden just seemed to be uh, a waste of a uh, of a perk uh, for this for this particular weapon the MPL it's a uh, it's a very close range uh, it's <laughs> and uh, good at close range but it's funny because it's almost like shooting a fully automatic BB gun and you know how many how much um, damage can a fully automatic BB gun do and the answer is not much especially if you're trying to shoot it through a wall so the hardened seemed to be like a uh, pretty much a wasted perk for me uh, for this this weapon I would have much rather have seen a uh, steady aim or a sleight of hand Something else uh, that it w I used on this challenge that I don't typically use, um, but found myself I really did find effective was the uh, Willie Pete, the smoke. Um, you know, it's I, I typically use the Nova Gas, and honestly, I probably will continue to use the Nova Gas simply for the fact that for most people, unless they're running a tactical mass, the Nova Gas is. Here's the part where I was trying to throw the C4. I couldn't even throw it; it kept getting blown up and. Uh, but the good thing is I was able to throw it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the uh, the Nova gas, uh, I find, is something that is uh, much more effective than the smoke. Um, at, at least for me, uh, it seems like it, it seems to work better. Um, unless somebody's running tactical mass, there's really no way for somebody to uh, be able to make it through that uh, without being uh, very impaired uh, by the time that they actually do make it through. Um, second, it still does provide some of that smoke cover that you get with uh, the smoke grenade, but not quite as much, but it still does give you that, that cover. Um, so that was something that I 
I did like to use, uh, the smoke I like to use, but in the end I probably will continue to run that Nova Gas. Uh, it just seemed to, to come in a little bit more handy. Now what my typical um, objective class is that I will run um, is, I, I, of course, assault rifles, they, uh, they seem to be <laughs> just a good all-round gun. You know, they're, they're good for short and good for long range. Um, can there be some that are, are better? Yes, but not that it can be used so effectively at both uh, close and long range. So I, I always run an uh, assault rifle. Which one is up to you? I mean, the, all of them. There are so many of them on there that are good that, you know, it, it's not really that big of a deal. I always carry a launcher for my secondary. I figure if they are having any kind of air support rather than switch to a class that uh, has the setup specifically for anti-aircraft, um, I just keep it on my objective class, and if they are not, you know, picking up uh, any air support or anything like that, then I can always pick up a, a weapon and change that out, but I like to have it just in case, because especially with the, uh, like the Hueys and some of the other guns, I mean, that can, that can really uh, help an, uh, uh, an enemy team capture an objective fairly quickly. Um, so I always like to have the launcher. Uh, like I mentioned, the Nova Gas. I use a frag grenade, um, or sometimes the Simtax. Either one, I interchange those out. I don't typically run a uh, tomahawk on any of my classes, except for like if I was trying to uh, snipe or something like that. I'll I'll throw them on for fun, but it's not something that I do where I'm trying to continuously uh, get kill feeds uh, with those tomahawks. So. Um, I, I found just recently too, I started using the uh, tactical insertion. I think I actually mentioned this. I, I put a tactical insert right there and it's a great place uh, to stay close to this B domination. Or, you, you know, <laughs> the tactical insertion, the part of the, the hardest thing about these uh, objective gameplays is getting from point A to point B. And uh, if you have a tactical insert that kind of, um, that you can place down close to where you want to be, and uh, can use that effectively, it can really help your team. So um, I, I think I was using a clay or something like that, uh, but I started using tactical insertions uh, just because it's, I found them so handy uh, to be able to use. Uh, like I mentioned, my, perk, uh, my perks that I run are typically a flak jacket um, and tactical mask pro on my objective-based um, gameplays, uh, but I also have a slide of hand that I usually will use as my second perk. Now, uh, this one they use hardened, and I don't mind using hardened. I actually had a LMG class set up where I would use hardened, and I found it uh, very effective um, with that uh, particular gun, uh, simply for the fact that the LMGs, they tend to make you move slower and uh, be a little bit more uh, patient and think through your moves uh, quite a bit more and just kind of slow yourself down. A lot of times they seem to be very effective in uh, defensive style gameplay and uh, so yeah I, I would typically run hardened with um, something like that uh, but those are my that's my typical uh, objective based gameplay and class setup and uh, I really like it uh, so <laughs> almost wasted a complete clip trying to just hit that dude um, anyway another thing that I used on this was the tomahawk and I don't think I really ever I mean not the tomahawk the crossbow I'm sorry uh, but the uh, Crossbow is something that, you know, I I guess it's probably fun to use. I just don't ever really use it. <laughs> so, again, some of these, and that's what I think these challenges are meant to do, just um, let you play some, uh, play some games with stuff that you're really not used to using. Uh, anyway, this uh, was where the game shuts down on us. I think the last, my final score was 24-9. and nine. Um, it was shaping up to be a good game. Got cut off about three quarters of the way through. Uh, Bill, I gotta give you a shout out. Thanks again for the challenge. Um, here's my gameplay. If you like it, feel free to rate, comment, or subscribe, guys. This is the average gamer. I'm out. Peace.